Welcome back to the Green Workbench. Today we've started a project already, so we'll talk you up to where we are at now. We're building a coffin for, it's a prop for Halloween decoration and party. Uh, we're building it out of 3 8 inch, inch plywood and 2x4s. So the first step was to plan out our sizes. Took a person, took some measurements at the shoulder, from the shoulder to the head, from the shoulders down to the waist, waist down to the feet, the distance apart when the feet are in a, just a comfortable position, the distance between the hands at the sides, and the distance between the shoulder. Now we take those distances and add about five inches to each one, and then we come to put together our coffin. Now we're doing it in the shape of the kind of classic Dracula coffin. So to scale we've got 16 inches across the top, 16 inches down to our widest point, 25 inches at the widest point, 20 inches down at the bottom. So we find our middle on the plywood which would be 12 and a half because 25 is our widest point and then we snapped a line with chalk down in the center and then we made our distances so we're 78 from top to bottom you know the 20 at the bottom the 25 and the 16 and drew those out and then cut one out with the circular saw on the piece of plywood and I was able to uh, flip it over and trace that on the other half of the plywood and it just barely fit and we're able to cut out two sides um, out of one sheet of plywood so that's at the top and the bottom of our coffin. The next step is to start building the frame. Okay now that we have the top and bottom cut uh, we need to start building the frame. So we're going to take our 2x4s and rip them down the middle in half and then we'll start cutting them for our frame. So we'll cut the length here and then work out the angles as we go, cut the angles on the miter saw um, so that it fits all the way around. Screw them in with inch and a quarter grabbers and glue and so that we have a solid frame all the way around the bottom. Now. We already have the top cut, but it, it's going to be a lid, so it needs to be able to open and close, so it won't have the frame. So what we're going to do now is start building the frame, just like you will a stud wall in a house. Um, we'll start building the frame out of 2 by 4 and then we'll face the sides, and then we'll fit the lid. Okay, so we need to figure out how tall our vertical studs are going to be. Um, now we've got one more sheet of plywood that we're going to use. So if we rip that into thirds, that's 16 inches. Um, take away a little bit for the kerf of the saw blade. And we've got two inches from the the base, um, three eighths plus the um, two by four minus the header which is an inch and three quarters so that's three and three quarters so sixteen minus three and three quarters is twelve and a quarter so we'll make it an even twelve gives us an, some extra room so we'll cut these into twelve foot or twelve inch um, sticks and then the way we're going to attach it to our base plate is with this um, finger joint bit from Craig, K-R-E-G, and you just clamp that on there, use the drill bit that came with it, the collar, and the screw just screwed right in there, and that's how we'll do it all the way around. So we'll cut these 12 inches and we'll start attaching.
Okay, so we have the vertical studs on and we measured and cut the other sheet of plywood into thirds. We actually went with 15 and a quarter, so that gives us our inch and a half to lay the header on its face. So we're going to go ahead and cut these pieces and screw them onto those studs all the way around the coffin frame. Okay, so all of the braces are in and the headers on and the sides are on. You can see we just, during the long stretch, we did three vertical studs, the one on the diagonal, two on the top, and then one down here in the corner to cover both. And then also, down at the edge. I don't think you can see it now. But I got some corner braces, metal corner braces, to brace these angled corners here to keep them strong and together. And just one brace on each each one at the top. Secured it very, very well. So now we will just put the top on and using a piano hinge, hinge where you'll put a latch on it, sand it down, and get ready to paint. Here's an angle from the side. You can see it a little bit better. Okay, so I've taken all of the screw holes and putty them in and any cracks or knots or anything so that when I sand it it's going to be perfectly smooth. Um, and now I'm going to sand down some of the top so that it fits evenly and perfectly so I can attach the hinges. Um, now I cut both the top and the bottom at the same time but if you have enough wood um, you may want to wait to cut the top until your base is all put together and then you can just trace the top of the base. Um, but I was trying to fit them all onto one sheet of plywood, so I did it that way. Okay, I'm going to cut strips that are about three inches long and use those to frame the top of the coffin. And it's for aesthetics, um, but also to give a little extra thickness so that when I'm screwing in the hinges, I have a little bit more wood to bite into. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll glue and nail them on. All right, we've framed the top. So our next step is to get a piano hinge and connect the top to the body. This frame adds some heft to the lid and some rigidity. So it'll work out well. So I'm going to install two 30 inch piano hinges along the back and then here in the gap a safety lid support which will make it so it doesn't come crashing down and it'll stay open if I want it to stay open and then I can close it slowly. So we're going to screw in all of the screws required for the piano hinge. And the safety lid support has instructions um, with the lid at a certain angle. It'll show you the distances that you need to use to apply it so that it works properly and is at the right angle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, 
because I'm dealing with the frame here, I'm going to have to put another stud uh, to connect it to to get that proper angle to close. It. Okay, I had the uh, safety hinge installed. Just lock it into place. And it holds right there, just at the right angle. Do loosen it. Pull it out of the lock position. And that's just the spring popping. And shut it down. The next step is to paint it. I went to the hardware store and got a pint of black paint. So this is the first coat. I'll probably do two. And <clears throat> make sure we get full coverage all the way around. But I've noticed I'm inside because the garage had too much sawdust. So there's no need to paint the inside because I'm going to line the inside. And that will be the next step after I'm finished painting. Okay, so we're all painted up. I found these old curtains at the thrift store. So I'm going to line the inside of the coffin using the curtains and just a staple gun. And I'll go all the way around and get those, get that all lined, and we'll go from there. And here we have the finished casket. All we need is a Dracula to go inside. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and leave any comments you have down in the comments section. Thanks for watching.